Okay, let's get into it. So I'm going to press new, add a material, we'll call it edge. And then I'm going to make sure if you're in Eevee to check ambient occlusion. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. If you're in cycles, it'll be fine. So then I'll just shift A, search for an ambient occlusion node. And then I'm going to shift A, search for a ramp, color ramp like this. Pick the color into the factor. And now I can plug this color into the base color to preview what's happening. So currently we don't have a ton happening here. So I'm going to check this inside box. Then I'm going to be able to drag in this black and drag in this white to up the contrast between the two. So for the sake of this, I'm going to go ahead and change the color ramp to constant just so you can visualize what's happening here. So dragging in the white will make the edge mask thinner and the black will make it thicker. So if I want to lower this distance though to isolate the edges a little better, then I can isolate them like this. And now as you can see, we've isolated all of the edges for the ambient occlusion. So now if we want to change this into a mask, what we're able to do is hit shift a search for a mix node mix color and then this can be the factor for our mix so we have this and let's say color a is our you know this is the edge material say it's a rust of something and then color b could be a metal like a gray and so pretend like we have two materials plugged into there and this edge mask can be used to essentially create a uh, edge wear on our materials which is really nice so obviously these are just basic colors, but you can already tell that we have some really good effects going on here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.